Hi, kitty cats. Today is November 1st, 2024. It's Friday, and that means it's time for your weekly dose of transgender joy. Also, blessings of the dark moon to you all. So, peace of joy number one. Today, November 1st, a new German law goes into effect to make it easier to change name and gender marker on all official documents. There is very little legal value to describing the most obvious externally presenting primary sex characteristics of a person at birth on official documents. And I applaud this new law. I am joyful. German men who drive too slowly on the Autobahn can now get a free pass. And transgender German exchange students in some U.S. states can now ease their minds about finding a fake ID in order to urinate in public. So, piece of joy number two. The ongoing debate about transgender people in sports particularly the San Jose State University women's volleyball team, has now veered into defining what fair means in sports as a whole. I believe it's appropriate to think about why we watch sports and what role they should play in our lives and our education. So not only am I joyful, this debate could change the way we view competition, it will also lay to rest a long-standing rift formed when I took my ball and went home in second grade because Judy stepped out of bounds in handball. We both know what you did, Judy, and now your day of reckoning is upon you. Piece of joy number three. In the newly released video game Dragon Age The Veil Guard, players can create characters that identify as transgender. Now, I've talked about the value role-playing games can bring in exploring identity and gender, and I love this new choice in Veil Guard, making it explicit. Of course, you may not want to make that choice, in which case you can invoke one of the first rules of role-playing games, which is don't make the choice. But I am joyful to see transgender people given first-class treatment in a form of entertainment we've always played. And for the record, it turns out it wasn't just because I wanted to look at a girl's butt on my avatar the whole time. And that was it. Your weekly dose of transgender joy. I will see you next week. And if you're in the United States, please don't forget to vote this coming Tuesday. Talk soon. Bye.